There it goes again. Wait for it, wait for it, wait for it to tick. More explosions. Dude, those explosions are making me orbs, which is awesome. Look at that, it just made another orb, yo. All right, let's get some more. Yes. Look at that. Look, look at that. Dude, it's an auto rifle. Look at that. Necrochasm nowadays is no, no pushover. It's, yeah. It's a little bit nasty. Uh, just a little bit. I, I mean... Oh, there you go. Oh, they, they, they just all spontaneously combust. So they mentioned that they were going to be changing the Necrochasm's catalyst, I think back in like December, at least six months before the final shape launched. So by the time that it finally did drop, a lot of us forgot that the Necrochasm's catalyst got changed and it wasn't just any little minor change or little tweak. Nah, dude, they said straight up, it's juice in time. They throw it in a blender with a little bit of magic and the new catalyst now is insane. And there's not like anything you have to do to go get it. It's literally changed already. You have the catalyst. It's changed to what it is now, which is one for thrall. Hitting three separate targets increases damage, range, handling, and aim assist for a moderate duration. This is basically a combination of both one for all and stats for all minus the extra reload speed. And that means that the damage buff is 35%. And that also is going to apply to the actual curse thrall explosions, which means this thing is an absolute demon in now as you can tell by the background gameplay we are in a legendary campaign and this is what the explosions are doing honestly i was caught off guard i didn't think necrochasm was going to be packing a punch th like this and on top of that i was running a kinetic siphon mod on my helmet and the explosions were proccing the kinetic siphon so i could pick up orbs which is always going to be good just having a weapon that can make orbs really really good it's like almost a kinetic version of something like sunshot in a way which is definitely something i never thought i would say but let's not also forget that the curse bringer exotic perk is still going to give you some increased reload speed and final blows with cursed all explosions will refill the magazine honestly giving it an osteo striga type vibe which is pretty pretty cool especially since that gun did catch a nerf and then the desperation perk itself is going to give you an increase on your rate of fire and also improve your stability as well meaning you get one headshot this thing is going crazy it's already a 720 auto rifle as it is meaning it's taking it up to like 900 rpm smg territory but it's an auto rifle and it's an exotic and it hits some pretty nasty explosions that gets buffed by its new exotic catalyst and one for thrall 35 percent damage buff going crazy right now i would say the only downfall to the weapon is the fact that there's not many people running crota's end at the moment but hopefully people catch on to like yo necrochasm is kind of like a modern day version of osteo with what it can do and you don't need any exotic to boost the effect it's just raw this good with its catalyst so if you were someone that was sleeping on this gun like me and you have the catalyst for it bro just go take it out for a little test drive aim for the head and you will be greatly rewarded as someone who was a big time osteo fan for a long long time necrochasm is going to replace the osteo spot for me because this thing is playing no games now let me know your thoughts and opinions on the modern day buff necrochasm down in the comments and maybe check out insta gaming to get some cheaper games and cheaper dlc and you all take care no way! <laughs>